What's up, YouTube? This is RL Yoshi as usual. I'm Max. And I'm Handyman Rhino. <laughs> Rhino just got done fixing a chair, and we are bringing you another dating sim. I have not been told what it is yet. <laughs> He's not even seeing the screen share. Let's uh, let's start screen share for him. As we begin playing What's Tulip. The... Okay, I remember. I remember this title. I don't know what the hell it is. Rhino, I've seen this game played twice, and even I don't know what the hell it is. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Tulip. I hate PS and PlayStation controls because it's like triangle, square, zero, X. From the first moment you saw her, a boy and a girl from two different parts of the world, they met and fell in love. The kiss of happiness. This is the lover's tree, for the record. What is your name? <laughs> Alright, I need to see if we have enough space to do what I want to do. Are you going to put Ryan next to him? Maybe. <laughs> uh, how do I how do I back? There we go. Damn it, we're not gonna have enough room. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> right, Max Coon, close enough. I see. It's girl. What is her name? Damn it. I knew that was coming up. Yeah! <laughs> Alright, Ryder, what's her name? <laughs> I don't freaking know. Charlotte? Charlotte. Alright. Let's see if we have enough space. Hmm. Uh, we're one letter short. <laughs> yeah. Let's back up. Uh, Cherry? Cherry. Like that? Yeah, let's put an I. Cherry. Do we, oh, hang on. Like, like that? Yeah, sure. What the hell? Alright. I think that's the, like a berry from Pokemon. <laughs> I see. Your name is Rymaxkun. Her name is Cherry. What the fuck were your parents thinking? For poorer or hungrier, will you stay happy together as long as you both shall live? Wow, this is a quick dating sim. We're already married. Yay. Now you may give her a kiss. Remember, PS2. What the hell? Remember, PlayStation 2. <laughs> That was still weird. This That's is 3 2 Long Life Town. The sun is setting. Ah, it was all a dream. Uh. And apparently, we rode here in the tr uh, truck of a car. Nobody knows where they are from. Secretly, quietly, and modestly, Ry Max Coon and his father moved in. By the way, the rent is 9,000 Z a month. Huh. <laughs> Father and son. Why do we dress like a postal worker? <laughs> there are only two people in the family, I don't know. <laughs> so let's make the most of our lives. So have they determined. Uh... <laughs> I am not helping with unpacking, apparently! <laughs> You want, to, you want to be our dad? Okay. No matter how poor we are... There we go, the text is actually not on us. We'll always be together. Take a break, and then go say hello to our new neighbors. I'll clean up in the meantime. <laughs> I, I don't want to. <laughs> or bye, dad. I, I know if you say I don't want to, he's just like, go do it. So, do we just want to see what he says, or should we just get get going? Let's just go. Okay. Bye, Dad. What? We're going right away? You wanted me to! That's my son. I'm so happy I could cry. 
I'm so happy that you're leaving the house. However, <laughs> it's sad that your heart is still weak. If your heart falls to pieces, you'll never recover. Just kind of looking at that mouse over there on the shelf. Take care as you explore. I mean, we're poor, so... All right, goodbye, Ryan Mackin. <laughs> All right, now before we leave, uh... How for... long is this game? Uh, I don't actually know. Uh, oh it's not extraordinarily long, I know that. So this is the bathroom, and as he's going to explain... Oh... Want to use the toilet? When you go to the bathroom, your life is recorded. You should go to the bathroom sometimes to freshen up. So open the save screen. Basically, so you, like, you use bathroom. So it's like no more heroes in that you use the bathroom to save the game. I may have made a mistake. No, it's fine. <laughs> For those who can't tell, apparently Whoa, that's a, what the hell? I don't know. I think it uses random, like ran a bunch of random pictures, and for some reason, that's one of them. But yeah, uh, we get evil us. <laughs> <laughs> that's Max Rye. What's like another version of Coon? <laughs> son, <laughs> Max Rye son. <laughs> mm. All right, let's go outside by equipping our shoes. <laughs> yeah, if I keep sometimes sneaking, it's just because the analog stick is very sensitive for some reason, and if I tilt it at certain angles, it's just like, no. I heard new tenants moved in. You want to be the lady? I heard they're from a big city in the west. I heard it's even farther than Funny Bone City. That means they couldn't make it in the big city. Yeah, I guess. I feel sorry for those two big so far. I hear the son's name is Rymax Coon. How the hell did you hear that? <laughs> a poor character. Hee hee hee. <laughs> you can just do the you thing again if you want. Okay. Alright, so apparently these. Th I don't want to call it a D pad because it feels like it's not a D pad, but the sort of D pad apparently also works for movement and doesn't make me tiptoe, so. Hello! You, you saw that sewer, that manhole cover move, right? Yeah, don't worry about it. How do you do, <laughs> Rymax Goon? I'm Dr. Dandy. It's a best. Nice to meet you. It's my Come to my hospital boss. anytime. I see you're the kid who moved into that house. You look like a nice kid who is also poor. I'm Michelle. My house is in the first district near Turtle Bath. Why don't you come to my place tomorrow? <laughs> nice to meet you, kid. <laughs> what the fuck? All right. So anyway, <laughs> wait. What was that? <laughs> oh, don't worry about it. That's just Michelle. Big trash can. Cold sweet potato. Yeah, you got to do a lot of trash can digging. Oh yay! Sometimes oh, more than one thing. Sometimes there are. This in this case, there's not. Usually in the first area, it's just only one thing. In later areas, there tends to be more things before it becomes empty. There's more than one area. Yeah, the areas are relatively small, though. Oh, I've never seen you before. Kids don't have to work. Grown-ups do. I envy you. Ha ha. Oh. Your family is very poor. Please excuse me. Ha ha! I have no job. You have no money. I hope we can find a job soon. Ha ha! That's Batayan. <laughs> okay. And this is Mr. Cheapot. He runs a store. How do you do? I'm Mr. Cheapot. I own the antique shop. Nice to meet you. <laughs> that is my dog, Rocky. 
Rocky Barkboa. Rocky says, nice to meet you. Closed already, the store is... Come back tomorrow. Okay. For the record, no. There's no run button. Yet. <laughs> I was gonna... Oh, hello. Are you gonna take Sherry? Sure. Hello. Nice to meet you. I'm Sherry. I live in Long Life Town. <laughs> da -na -na -na. You got a boner. <laughs> also, she has a cat. Perfect. And we have a dad. <laughs> what? What? Uh, what's happening? It's just playing music right now, basically. Okay. Oh, I actually had to press a button, even though there was no text. Sorry about that. Hey, do you want to give me a kiss? Well, what's the answer, Rhino? I don't know if this is a joke or not. I'll tell you this: the answer doesn't it doesn't affect anything. Yes. Yes, yes. I'm just kidding. Oh, you'd kiss someone you just met. By the way, what's your name? I'm Rhymax Coon. Huh? Weird name. <laughs> Are you the poor boy who just moved in here? Is that literally the only thing people know about us? Well, what do you know about you, smart guy? I know that I wear a hat! And I have a cat. <laughs> yeah, I'm the poor boy. I knew it. So you are really poor. By the way, you've never kissed, have you? They switch topics very easily. Yeah, I have! You can't lie to me. Dreams count! You have to be honest and say you don't know what you don't know. In this town, people kiss using the triangle button. But you can't kiss people then. Oh god, are we gonna have to kiss everyone in town? <laughs> Usually, they'll get angry. Understood? Yes, ma'am. You're poor, but, ex but pretty smart, you. You know what these characters remind me of? What? Sack boys. Oh my god, they do! <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap, you're right. <laughs> Are not my type. Get friend-zoned, bitch. So yeah, we have a dedicated kiss button. That's weird. <laughs> now here's the thing, Rhino. <laughs> what do you think we have to do next? Kiss the cat? <laughs> no. <laughs> kiss our father? No. Kiss her? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm not surprised that's what happened. Eek, weirdo. Pervert. You're British now. I can't believe you tried to kiss me. What? You and I kissed in your dream. That's just a dream. This is reality. Huh. Alright, bye. <laughs> Are you sure we had to do that? Uh, I'm not entirely 100% sure, but based on the next topic of conversation, I think it is required to advance the plot. But now we have to go back to our dad. I have seen this game played a couple times, which is very good, because this is a very hard game to play without a guide. Uh, you are heartbroken, however... Oh wait, that's not dad voice. <laughs> that's cheap hot. That's a person, right, Max Coon? Your father loves you from the bottom of his heart. Yay! What? You met the girl you saw in your dream. And when you tried to give her a kiss, your heart was broken. I am not surprised. That right. That's okay. Don't worry. 
I have a plan with her. With with that will win her over. <laughs> Are you okay, Dad? Operation. Read that again. Operation Love Letter. Write a love letter using this. Da -da 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 -da. You got a pen. <laughs> oh, no, I can't find it. <laughs> da -da -da -da. My letter set is missing. If only you had it, you could write a love letter. I definitely put it in this book. I re really did. Are you okay? It's pausing at weird times. Ah, okay. I noticed the video connection went dipped a couple of times too. All right, now we need a letter set. And also, yeah, oh, I keep avoiding the manhole. Huh? Well, first off, I think it's actually only doing that one because we walk over it. Uh. That said, we can't even do anything with it yet, but we will do stuff with it later. Hi, girl. I'll kiss you later. Perfect. A letter set. I've shown it to Batayan the other day. Batayan. In case you can't tell, this is a Japanese game. <laughs> By the way, Rocky won't come home. Very friendly, my dog is. But he is angry when I'm not around. Walk slowly in front of him. Rocky. Where are you? Batian, give me your letter set. Uh. I'm in trouble. I forget what the hell voice I gave this guy. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I bought a letter set to use for my job search. Ha ha! However, a dog stole it from me. I'm in trouble. Ha ha! Oh! That one! He stole my letter set! Ha ha! The dog is literally attached to the doghouse. Wait, you stupid dog! Uh. Eek! <laughs> Expected comeuppance? <laughs> stupid dog! Alright. Now this now is where to sneak. Yep, this is where we learn about sneaking. And getting knocked over. <laughs> yeah, in general, the those clouts when coming from anybody means angry. Don't walk near them. Received letter set. Okay, bye. <laughs> it's mine now. Yeah, the opening of the game is a bit boring, but trust me, it gets very interesting after a little while. Besides the fact that one lady looked like she was going to rape us. Oh, trust me, something amazing will happen very soon. Oh, no, no. Where did it go? My letter set. Alright. Uh. What's the button? No, that's not the button. No, I want to kiss you. You won't get experience by kissing me. Go out and find someone else. Okay, there we go. Square is the menu button. Okay. Oh, you. <laughs> you found a letter set. Found, totally not stole. And you took it from a vicious dog. You're pretty good, you. I'm so happy I could cry. How often do you cry? Now, write a love letter with that letter set right away. Alright, are you ready to see what kind of love letter Rymax Coon writes? 
Okay. Dear Cherry. I really, really love you, Cherry. I love you very much. Please give me a kiss next time, and... <laughs> Yay! We did it! <laughs> great, great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> go, go. Brag, brag about it to our neighbors. We just wrote a love letter, and now we have to go tell people, Hey, look! I wrote a love letter! Why? <laughs> because Chewrap. <laughs> Hi. Right, you've written a letter. There is a mailbox in front of the train station. What are you doing? Oh, is this really loud? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I was answering a Discord message while I wasn't having to voice someone. <laughs> oh, I see! You've written a love letter! If that's a love letter, take it to the mailbox! It's our town's custom. Hee hee hee! What the fuck? Okay, Michelle. But yeah, demon. What? He a demon. To my knowledge, you're not as far off as you'd like to be. He does have demon eyes. You have to take care of your employees. Pay your workers. No one can live without money. What? It's just, a, it's just a guy heading to work. What's so weird about that? <laughs> Don't discriminate. He's a telephone pole. <laughs> All right, for the record, we're going to be going through this tunnel many times. It's a cutscene every time. Uh... All right, who do you want? You can take the girl this time. <laughs> Alright! What if something happens to Sherry? Fur. She can live on her own. Our only daughter Cherry ran away! Why don't you do something? I knew the freely. Terrible dinosaur. You are not free! You are lazy! I'm free. I mean... <laughs> you don't have to do anything! Yes, sir. I do really work around. Cherry likes cats. She'll come home whenever she wants. It's okay. You lazy loser! Eek! <laughs> Oh, Julie, what are you doing? Hi, it me! For some reason, it's made me talk to her, is it? What are you doing here, kid? I'm Julie. That's my husband. I run the bar to feed him. You've got something to say to me? Ah, Cherry, where have you gone? No, not you. Talk to him. What? I could not be any more clear about this! There we go! <laughs> oh, I wasn't actually sure what let you. <laughs> yeah, who are you? You are the cure of the poor family. Remember. I'm good. That's my wife. I'm better than my love. This is probably one of the least comprehensible voices I've ever done. That's a love letter. I can tell I feel something. It feels inadequate. So I'm sending it to my daughter, Blueberry. 
<laughs> and her father, I go watch a stupid kid. That like gives you cover jam. Do that. Well, fuck you too. <laughs> we don't actually need to show it to literally everyone. It's just showing. It's showing it to them. Gets us the point of go bring it to the mailbox. Want to be nice old lady? Another he he he. <laughs> hey, Mr. Plum of the snack shop. You're you, the poor boy. Have some sweets to nurse your poor heart. <laughs> Store hours are 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. <laughs> Hello, child. Want some candy? You can never understand how I feel. So we can't what go the fuck was that? So we can't go that way yet. <laughs> just for the record, that is Mr. Yamada. Just to give you his name. Alright, and now we have the conductor and the policeman. Can you tell which is which? Hmm. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'll give you a hint. The conductor is the one on the top, and he's the one currently speaking. Do you want him or the policeman? <laughs> the policeman whose head is as big as my entire body. I guess I'll take the policeman. All right. Terrible. This is terrible. This is a big crime. He'll put a rock on the train tracks. Criminals always return to the scene of the crime. We'll wait here to arrest them. Officer, we have no time to lose. The culprits must be those guys. I know they did it. Even so, you can't arrest them without evidence. I'm just imagining a monkey with symbols. You are really not far off with that voice, by the way. That is pretty fitting of his personality. Hi there! Really that's cool. Nice to meet you! I'm the officer here! I keep long nice town nice and safe! Count on me with the night patrol! I see! You moved into that old house because you're poor! <laughs> yeah. You can't commit a crime just because you're poor! He thinks we did it. <laughs> it's out of nowhere. Alright. You and your boulder tossing! Ah, uh, yes. Rymax Coon is a world renowned boulder tosser. Yeah, that's good. I expected it to okay. come to- Hey, you. I knew it was gonna come to life! <laughs> You're- actually, no, the mailbox is not alive. Oh. Uh. It's just someone speaking. Your love letter is terrible. <laughs> It'll never touch your heart. <laughs> come to my room. I will show you how to write a love letter. We get lots of room invites, don't we? Yeah. Alright, so now we're gonna go into that manhole. Okay. <laughs> so, did you think the guy in the telephone pole was weird? Yeah. Did you think the policeman was weird? Yeah. Did you think the fact that we're going around kissing people and having a dedicated button for it is weird? Uh, yeah. This way. Well, I'm gonna let me get to a stop point. I'm gonna need to make that call. Ah, welcome. Now let's go meet something truly weird. Uh, this is where you off. start to realize what the game is going for. The chip? Oh, you're the poor kid, Rymax Coon. I've been waiting for you. 
Sit. <laughs> Who are you? I'm an underworld resident, Mishio Suzuki. This is local apartment unit 103. Anyway, that is not important now. Your love letter is the problem. It was not good. Not at all. How does he know? I guess he read it. <laughs> he broke the law to read it. How? He was living in the mailbox, I guess? I don't- I actually don't know! <laughs> Why not? Why not? You don't know? It doesn't have your heart in it. You can't write a good love letter like that. Bad love letter? You'll be wasting your time with your bad love letters. They won't reach her heart. You'll feel sad, miserable, and depressed. Those all be the same thing. If you can write a good love letter, you can kiss her under the legendary tree on the hill. However, even if you try to write a letter with your heart, your heart is immature and weak. You are at level one, poor boy. Before you profess your love to her, you need experience. Kiss others to strengthen your heart. Let's begin your lessons. Toh! Come here, you lonely lady. What? Onion lady is very angry. If you get close down, you'll get hurt. Onion lady is happy. It's called Viva. Give her a kiss. Now, let's start practicing. Kiss Onion Lady, Rybax Coon. So yeah, that's basically the idea of the game, is you you have to wait for the Viva, sometimes you have to do stuff in order to cause it, and then you can kiss them. Uh. Now, there are underworld residents, or underground residents, and above ground residents. Above ground residents, they will kiss you, but you have to complete a quest for them first. Whereas with underground residents, you just find them and fulfill their conditions. Huh. Also, you know what happens after you kiss people? They pay you. Huh. <laughs> Received ADZ. Bravo, bravo. Rymax Coon, you did it. Now your heart will grow a little bit. Now, go home and tell your father what you did. Well then, goodbye. Take care. Why, though? That! <laughs> Why is pretty much just the saying of Chulip. In case you can't tell, this is quite a weird game. It's very Japanese. <sighs> oh, boy. You're in for the long haul, Rhino. Well, not the long haul, but you're in for a time, basically. Uh. Oh, an interesting time. To my knowledge, it's not an extraordinarily long game. Plus, there's a lot of stuff that I can just do off screen. Wow, he really cleaned up. You were so late, Rhino. I finished cleaning a long time ago. Your father is very tired. You must be tired too. Your new life in Long Knife Town begins tomorrow. You should go to bed soon. And by soon he means right now. Everyone is talking about Rymax Coo. I'm so worried about my son's reputation that I can't sleep. I'll check your accomplishment every night, my son. Let's see. Today, Rymat Crew kissed. Onion Lady. Did he? Lover's Tree. Lover's Tree. My son successfully kissed for the first time. That means. My Max Coon has kissed one time in his whole life. Fantastic! I shall strengthen his heart. Now his reputation will be better, too. My Max Coon has reached level two. He has become a hard worker. Keep trying and become a man with a strong heart. The next goal is two kisses. 
for the record, that's like two, two more or two total? Two more. Thank you, Lover's Tree. I see. All right. Okay. Indeed. Yes, quite. Hmm. Now your father can go to bed, too. Good night, you. And now you know what you're getting into. Uh. All right, and every time we now, as as of this day, oh, let's get to this first. Good morning. Wake up. <sighs> okay, so now there's a time system in place. Fortunately, it's just a time throughout the day. You have an infinite number of days. It's not like say Pikmin or whatever. Okay, my son. Okay, my son. We're going to end the episode now. <laughs> <laughs> We finished the prelude, and next time we're going to begin our quest to kiss literally every character in this game except for, like, maybe five or six of them. Jesus. <laughs> I've been the Max of Rymax Coon. I am the Rye, and I don't know. <laughs> we'll see you next time for more Tulip. Whoosh! Boom, boom.